Hi, I'm Jeremy Reeves, head blender of Cornell and Deal, and I'm here today to unveil a very special product to all of you, the C&D Small Batch Blending Kit. This handy setup is the perfect starter kit designed with the tobacco blending hobbyist in mind. Whether you're a pipe beginner or a seasoned pipe pro, this kit has everything in it that you need to get started expanding your pipe journey to include blending pipe tobacco. Each kit includes nitrile gloves, a beard net, a digital scale, small plastic bowl, four half ounce food grade flavorings, seven suggestion recipes, 50 grams each of eight different blending tobaccos, a C&D apron, a tasting journal, a mason jar, and a small corn cob pipe. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take this new kit for a spin, see how it works. I'm gonna make one of the recipes from the kit. Uh, Rooster Refreshed is what it's called. It makes 10 grams. And I'm gonna start off with my heaviest ingredient, which is Bright Virginia. 7.5 grams of Bright Virginia. I'm being real ginger not to crush the ribbons. I want to preserve them. All right, seven and a half. And when you set your bowl back down on the scale, let it rock back towards the back, not towards the front. Um, next thing, Red Virginia, one gram. Always be sure your your scale is teared. In other words, it is uh, accounting for the weight of the bowl and still reading zero. One gram of dark fired Kentucky. This stuff is a little denser. You'll notice that one gram of dark fired looks a lot smaller than one gram of red Virginia. And half a gram of perique. Alrighty. Give all your ingredients a gentle mixing. The reason you're making such a small batch first is to try it. See how it smokes. And then make changes as you want to from, from the results of your first 10 grams or so. Uh, working in these kinds of small batches and making incremental changes is a lot of a lot of what I do when I'm producing a new blend. Um, and I've talked to talked to a number of other tobacco blenders, and basically this is a this is a pretty common approach across the board. Make a little, little, little bit so that you can easily make changes and then you figure out how to extrapolate those small changes into larger numbers when you find the thing that really works. So once that's nice and mixed, this recipe calls for two drops of chocolate. Which I believe is this one, yep. One drop, two drops. Always important to add the flavoring after you've already pre-mixed the blend so that the flavoring um, doesn't just all soak into one particular component. You've got it well mixed and so you'll get the 
the effect of the flavoring throughout the blend a little easier. Especially if you're using something very absorbent like black cavendish or, uh, or dark fired. Um, you can uh, have all your flavoring reside in that that one ingredient and not make its way through the blend as easy. It will eventually if you put it into a jar, but it may still be more pronounced and especially in Black Cavendish. All right, and the last thing here, obviously we couldn't give you any way to moisten the tobacco in your kit, but if you just keep with you some distilled water and an eyedropper, and a little, little bit will go a pretty long way. So I'm gonna add four or five drops of water. Make sure the water's distilled. It gives you uh, no, no possibility of mold spores or anything like that in it that can translate over to uh, your tobacco going bad. Right, feels like it's gonna get there. Now you'll notice that the crunch doesn't go away immediately, but tobacco will soak up moisture over the next few minutes and give it a few minutes before you add more moisture until it feels right and looks right and tastes right to you. And that's pretty much it. And if you come up with a new blend that you really want to share with us, uh, you can do that on social media, YouTube and Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget to include hashtag smallbatchtobacco. If you have any other questions or need anything from us, you can feel free to email me at info at cornellanddeal, all one word, dot com. Thanks, guys.